everybody. Welcome to a quickie with Ms. B. I'm Ms. B. Today is Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> well, this week we're going to talk about why do we and fill in the blank. Okay, so you ready for today's topic? <laughs> I'm excited. This one's called Check the Fridge. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me explain a little something here, boys and girls. Continuously checking the fridge to see if any food has magically appeared. <laughs> well, now, yeah, now there's several different topics. You're on this one. Yes. I'll be having some insanity later on. <laughs> so we're going to tell on our kids. Because <laughs> every once in a while, you need to throw the kids under the bus. So. Well, they've so only been torturing you for decades. It's bad. <laughs> fair way back so sam she comes over occasionally to do laundry and every time that she does she's always checking the fridge <laughs> now she'll start off with the pantry if we don't find nothing super magical in there <laughs> we go check the fridge <laughs> then she'll go take her laundry downstairs then come back up and then she'll check the fridge again. <laughs> like because something you ran, magically. Well, no, you <laughs> ran to the store, filled it up, and were trying to trick her. <laughs> exactly. Magically, it's there. Ta da! You really had, you had treats hidden upstairs. You went and got them and put them in the fridge after I found you, didn't you? <laughs> Excuse me. So after the second time she does this, I'm like, are you, what are you looking for? Oh, nothing really, she says. <laughs> And why are you checking the fridge now with toys, okay? So then she'll go sit down and she'll be on her phone waiting for her laundry to finish. And then at some random point in time, she'll decide to get up again, <laughs> come in the kitchen, and do what? Check the fridge. <laughs> then I say to her, are you hungry? Do you want something to eat? Um, yeah, no, not really. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Are but you wait. looking for a ball? <laughs> if you're not hungry, the fridge kind of has a whole hungry thing that goes along with it. Did you lose your ball? <laughs> so I said, so why are you checking the fridge? Oh, I don't know. I'm waiting for my laundry to get done, and I'm just bored. <laughs> So you know, you know, here, here, here. I have, I, I, I have a great funny joke for you guys. Ready? Okay. Next time you go by the dollar store, <coughs> they have these little dollar frames, all right, that hold a piece uh -huh. of paper. Get one yeah. of those little dollar frames, okay? And you can put a piece of tape on it, and put it on the door. But the picture I want you to put inside of it is a picture of the fridge. Of who? The fridge. <laughs> Open the door. Take a picture of it. Print it out, put it in the little frame on the front of the fridge. That way, when Sam comes, you go, oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, I put a picture of the fridge up there for you, so if you need to look, you can keep the door closed. And that's the other thing, too, is like, why don't you people shut the door completely when you're done looking in the fridge? Ah, that, ah. Do, do, you know what, but, do you know what the sad part about all this is? is that uh, right now uh, you and I are witnesses to uh, the curse of our parents because you yes. remember that you remember the psychopath and the whole yeah. refrigerator. Oh my God, the fridge is the most important thing on the planet. Oh my God, the world is locked down. You left the fridge open for thirty times, and, and, and we always thought you're a psychopath. All right, I have to look in there, and then I'm going to yeah. put the milk down. I'll pour it, and I'll come. but you got to have the door open the whole time you're pouring it. Yes, Dad, I do. <laughs> and we always wondered, what is this crazy thing that you drink in the morning that makes you like this? I think they put it in our coffee. Because <laughs> now I realize, do you know, I'm doing that. <laughs> I'll leave mine open like when I come to put the groceries away and I'm putting everything in its spot. But mine's got a like a timer on it, so if it stays open for too long, it'll actually start beeping at you. <laughs> Warning, danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> yeah, see, now, the one I used to have had that on there, but it had a very special button called turn alarm off. <laughs> so I, I would. 
<laughs> but it's hilarious. This is uh, yeah, uh, once I turned fifty, I kind of had an idea what my dad was talking about that fridge. Uh -huh. That's like the magic money pit. And kids, yep. kids are like, I, 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 I don't know what they're looking. For. What, what are you looking? For? If you would tell me, I will go buy it, yeah. put it there, so you can get in, get it, and get out. Uh, I, 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 I will, I will have it sitting right there for you. No. Just please <laughs> tell me what are you looking for? Oh, I got a better idea. I'm gonna next time take a picture of the contents in the fridge, <laughs> put it in the frame. And make sure it's like one of those magnetic frames, yeah. so that it's on, it it'll attach to the outside of the fridge. That's what I was so telling you to do. <laughs> That's what I was telling you to do. That way, when she walks up to the fridge, she goes, "What's this?" That's a picture of what's in the fridge, so you don't have to open the door. You can actually keep that. Take it home with you, in case you're wondering later yeah. what's in the fridge today. That's what's in the fridge today. Now the picture you can throw it away tonight because tonight <laughs> all different. <laughs> Next week when you come back to do laundry, all I'll different. have a new picture, I'll have for, a you. New picture for you. <laughs> yeah. We'll catch up then. <laughs> oh, coincidentally, we're out of ketchup. <laughs> and on that note, I'm gonna go briefly take a photography class back in a moment. <laughs> this year. Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to A Quickie with Miss B. Today is Tuesday, and all this week we were talking about why do we and fill in the blank. And once again, I know that we said this in the past, but thank you so much for joining us and listening to us and coming back every week to uh, listen to our crazy stories and scenarios. And don't do it alone. Bring a friend. Right. <laughs> Share it on your social media so others can be victimized as well. <laughs> Oh my heavens! Mm -hmm. Now your turn to tell. Well, I, to tell them your Here's the funny thing: is you got all girls. Yeah. You got all boys. Yep. <laughs> uh, there's a couple different things, you know, with boys. Yeah. No, number one, they bring other ones. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> and they hold refrigerator meetings. <laughs> These refrigerator meetings can only be held with the door open. <laughs> All members of the party must be in the doorway of the fridge. <laughs> and you walk by and go, is this a meeting? <laughs> no. And they're actually staring. It's like, did you know one of you could do that and report back to the others? <laughs> they still haven't got it. They go, huh. All right, in a second, I'm going to put you guys in the fridge. <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to get something to eat. Not nine of you. <laughs> How about eight of you back up and the other one just shout out what there is in there? <laughs> You're boys, so I really don't believe it actually matters. <laughs> is it got fuzz on it? No, it's edible. There you go. <laughs> I mean, boy, girls at least will be somewhat normal with the food. Boys, yeah. Christine, they'll eat ketchup. Oh, yeah. They will. They'll <laughs> yeah. eat ketchup. And you're like, what's the matter with you? Well, you didn't have – there's plenty of – but then, but then it comes down to the real issue is effort. Yeah. Boys and effort. Like, <laughs> oh, well, you got macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Oh, it's – oh, you got to make it. What, 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 do you have magic macaroni and cheese at your house? Because if you do, how about you take those eight kids over there and fly them to your house? Have some yeah. magic mac and cheese over at your place. You can eat it in front of the fridge with the door open. I'm sure your dad's going to love that. <laughs> but sometimes girls are just as bad when they don't want to, you know, make something either. They hold Not as often as guys, but. Do they hold yeah. refrigerator parties? And by the way, every male who says that's not true, you're lying. <laughs> I have three boys and they hold refrigerator parties. <laughs> If they and then now, now boys to a fridge are like girls to a bathroom. Man, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah, girls, you want to? And there's like 12 girls get up. They all go together like you need help. <laughs> boys are like that with a refrigerator. I'm gonna say, I'll come with you. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. You're like, 
<laughs> oh my god, are you guys gonna hold the door? <laughs> Little do you know, as a parent, you're in a lot of danger right now. <laughs> Because, <laughs> well, the whole thing is they're looking for little effort chow. Mm -hmm. And little effort chow can get weird. <laughs> they'll, they'll, be like, they'll be like, you know, I had a friend that used to eat ramen noodles without cooking them. We should try it. And you're like, oh, no. No, wait, no, wait a minute. Oh, come on. <laughs> and they start eating ramen noodles without cooking. You're like, all right. Looks like it's time for suicide toast. Yeah. Okay. And now remember, these... These are boys, and everything's wrong. Everything's wrong because you're like, you say toast, peanut butter toast. You figure what? A couple slices of toast here. Uh, no, they're talking a loaf of bread in a jar of peanut butter. Well, yeah, they're boys. <laughs> you're like, yeah, but Christine, uh, when you realize that that was a snack and that was nine dollars, uh huh, they expect to be fed. They're, they're oh. looking for food too, but that was a snack. And when you go, you know, oh, wow, you got little Debbies. And you, you, you just want to yell out, no. And those are gone. And you're like, that's $3 a box. They were like, oh, there's only eight in here. Well, there's only eight of you. I, I usually have three or four of these. Oh, really? Really? You have three or four? And two of them wipe out a box. And like, you have any more? There were four. <laughs> you're like snack two twelve dollars <laughs> and then they drink christine and for some reason they're afraid they're afraid of water to bathe in it when they're young and to yeah. drink it when they're older they're like oh i guess oh, yeah. i have one like, well it's ice water uh, maybe it's, uh, i'm not having soda around this Whatever thing this is here, the food <laughs> grazing pyramid people here, whatever you are. These are kids, Christine, they take down leaders. <laughs> oh, you're out of Coke. There were four <laughs> two liter bottles. Well, yeah, we had a couple sodas each. <clears throat> There's yep. no more? No, it's all gone. And you're, <laughs> and you're out of little Debbie's. Uh huh. They're like, Okay, great. <laughs> oh, no, no. And, but then the best part is, is what do you think they do after they've had their their refrigerator meetings? <laughs> Find Some, something else. <laughs> somehow or other, the refrigerator's open. <laughs> Just they don't crack. close it. Just a crack. <laughs> uh, yeah. You walk around the corner, and there's a there's a, a line of light going down the side of the refrigerator. You go, what is that? Are uh, you kidding me? You open it up, you're like, my little thermometer says 54. You're like, oh, <laughs> how long has the fridge been open? Fridge is open? <laughs> no, I said that for my health. I heard it was good for you. Five minutes later, guess what? They're, they're back in front of the fridge again. What time are you guys going to have dinner at? You're like, I, oh, my. <laughs> are you guys grazing? <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, your electric bill. Oh, you don't have to tell me. My cousin had twin boys. <laughs> it's just, it's a sad, it's a sad thing. It's a, and you're afraid to go up in the room because, you know, the smell. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. But there's eight of them up there. <laughs> there's eight. And I swear, yeah. they burn off all the calories going up the staircase. They reach the top of the staircase and go, dude, I'm starving. And it's like, no, <laughs> go home. Go home to your parents. Go. That's it. I'm calling it. Uh, I, I'm $64 in the hole. We haven't even had dinner. Oh, my <laughs> God. You know, you open up the trash can to throw away something. There's five half-eaten packs of ramen noodles. You're like, oh, what are these car? All the little Debbie boxes. Oh, they've shoved them down. And you know, you can always tell when they've been here because they shove it. The They're so afraid, Christine. They might have to empty the trash. But they'll use each other's weight to help smash the bag until it splits open and all dumps out inside the can. 
but as long as the lid's on, <laughs> we're square. <laughs> and on that note, we better go check to see if the refrigerator door is closed. 